The LFP short blade battery is recognized for its enhanced safety features, including improved performance during fires and reliable operations, even in temperatures below 30 degrees Celsius. Engineered to sustain over a million kilometers of driving over a span exceeding 50 years, what factors contribute to ensuring such high levels of safety for this battery? Why is LFP short blade battery technology considered the superior choice in terms of safety? The short blade battery, shaped like a unique long sword, is a cell-to-pack technology where cells are directly integrated into the battery pack rather than grouped into separate modules beforehand. This enables higher energy density at the pack level. Companies like BYD, S-Volt, and Geely are leveraging short blade batteries. While Geely primarily uses batteries from suppliers for its electric vehicles and also partners with Cattle, Forasis Energy, and LG Energy Solution, it's also developing its own batteries. The Aegis Short Blade Battery is among the latest advancements in this effort. During testing, these short blade batteries have achieved 3,500 charging cycles, equivalent to driving and recharging for a million kilometers. This minimizes battery degradation, prolonging useful lifespan, and enhancing residual value for older electric vehicles. Additionally, it claims to reduce carbon emissions by 80,000 tons annually, roughly equivalent to a typical car driving 20,000 kilometers a year over 50 years. This new type of battery effectively addresses internal resistance issues commonly found in longer blade versions by using thin, long nanocarbon tubes to facilitate ion transmission and incorporating additives to improve permeability, enabling faster charging. With an energy density of 192 watt hours a kg, an average charging rate of 2.45, and a lifespan of 3,500 cycles with minimal capacity loss, it reportedly charges from 10 to 80% in approximately 17 minutes and 4 seconds. The Chinese company also provides a comparison. Quoting from test data, Geely cites an average charging time of about 26 minutes from 10 to 80% and an average charging rate of 1.61C for blade batteries of the same capacity. However, these values have not been independently verified. This achievement can be attributed to the use of long, thin nanocarbon tubes in the battery to facilitate ion transmission, along with additives to improve membrane permeability. These changes help lithium ions move more easily between electrodes, thereby enhancing fast charging performance. Currently, it's still unknown when these battery cells will be mass produced. Emphasis on cell safety remains paramount, utilizing high durability membranes, stable thermal characteristics, and self bonding technology designed to prevent short circuits and thermal runaway. To achieve this goal, Geely has conducted extensive tests on the batteries, including eight nail puncture and military gun shooting tests. According to Geely, no negative impacts occurred during these tests. On June 27, 2024, in Hangzhou, Geely Auto Group unveiled their latest self-developed generation of short blade lithium iron phosphate batteries, offering best-in-class battery life, charging speed, and optimized safety. Geely's new short blade EV battery technology sets a new standard in the EV battery industry with top safety features, compact size, higher energy density, improved volume utilization, and enhanced flexibility to adapt to various pack designs. Regarding safety, Geely announced on-site that the safety test results of the Aegis short blade battery at the China Automotive Industry Testing Center's new energy testing center. Testing included core penetration, immersion in corrosive seawater, dropping and severe impact on three sides of the battery, external battery fire tests, vehicle side impact tests, front underside scraping tests, rear underside scraping tests, vehicle underside scraping tests, etc. All battery safety test categories exceeded significantly national standards. Geely's new short blade EV battery technology incorporates their self-developed self-bonding technology on the electrode surface to prevent short circuits in case of accidents. If a battery cell punctures during severe collisions, a layer of aluminum foil integrates into the battery membrane to create an insulating layer, preventing short circuits and uncontrolled thermal events. How did the tests of the short blade LFP battery exceed industry standards? Until now, the standard automotive test for EV battery safety performance was the single needle puncture test. 
However, Geely Auto conducted a bold experiment by testing the new short blade battery technology with eight simultaneous needle punctures, increasing the damage sustained in extreme collision scenarios. During testing, it was punctured simultaneously by eight steel needles, each five millimeters in diameter, and left undisturbed for an hour without any adverse effects. In addition to passing the eight needle puncture test, Geely subjected the new short blade battery technology to the industry's first six extreme limits tests, including immersion in corrosive seawater, extremely cold environments, high frequency bottom scraping of the battery pack, 26 ton overload rolling, side impact on a single battery pack, and fire roasting. With its patented mesh frame design, energy absorption chamber, three-layer sandwich bottom protection plate, integrated CTB, thermal runway control system, and other safety features, the battery pack successfully passed all six tests. Testing the new short blade EV battery technology under conditions far exceeding industry standards, results showed no thermal runaway, smoke, ignition, or fire in any scenario. Additionally, the insulation resistance values of the battery electrodes and the sealing condition of the cells remain normal. The results demonstrate that the new short blade EV battery is safe and reliable even in the harshest conditions. The battery has passed an additional six extreme tests, including immersion in corrosive seawater, extremely cold environments, high frequency bottom scraping of the battery pack, 26 ton overload rolling, side impact on a single battery pack, and fire roasting. These tests were conducted by the China Automotive Center and Geely's battery passed all of them. These tests meet higher standards than national requirements, and in the scraping test, three repetitions were required. The rolling test endured a weight of 26 tons. The cold weather test withstood minus 35 degrees Celsius at an altitude equal to 5,000 meters for eight hours, and the fire test endured 1,000 degrees Celsius for 130 seconds. Such results are achievable because the short blade battery uses a high-strength, thermally stable, high-temperature resistance separator, combined with stable separators and safe electrodes to create higher energy density and safety. Additionally, there's a self-bonding technology on the electrode surface that prevents short circuits in the event of an accident. A layer of aluminum foil integrates into the battery separator to form an insulating layer if the battery cell experiences severe shock and puncturing. Geely stated that the battery features a patented mesh frame design, energy absorption chamber, three-layer sandwich bottom protection plate, integrated cell-to-body, thermal runaway control system, and many other safety features. How can the short blade LFP battery ensure safe driving for a million kilometers? Good question. As previously mentioned, the cycle life of the new short blade EV battery technology can reach up to 3,500 cycles. That's equal to charging and driving for a million kilometers with minimal impact on the battery's range. The use of multi-element doped electrode materials combined with a smaller size and lower internal resistance of the battery reduces the internal chemical reaction rate, and that extends the battery's lifespan. On top of that, thanks to its ultra-fast charging capability and stable performance at those low temperatures, the new short blade EV battery technology addresses the high internal resistance issue commonly found in long blade batteries that are on the market. Geely's latest battery also uses long, thin carbon nanotubes to create highways for ion transmissions and additives to improve membrane permeability allowing lithium ions to move more easily between electrodes, thereby enhancing fast charging performance. Test data shows that for blade batteries of the same capacity, the average charging time from 10 to 80% SOC for long blade batteries is about 26 minutes at an average charging rate of 1.61C. With the new short blade EV battery technology, that average charging time is 17 minutes and 4 seconds with an average charging rate of 2.45C. Furthermore, in extremely cold environments, the new electric vehicle battery technology offers stronger discharge capability and longer driving range compared to long blade batteries. At an ambient temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius, the average capacity retention rate of long blade batteries drops to 78.96%, while the new short blade EV battery technology maintains 90% capacity. The shorter length, approximately 40% shorter than conventional long blade batteries, results in less internal resistance and heat, while volume utilization increases by 
The release of Geely's new generation blade battery is undoubtedly a major breakthrough in the EV industry. It not only improves the performance and safety of electric vehicles, but also sets a new benchmark for the whole industry. We also hope the industry will truly shift from roll-to-roll to roll-to-pack roll technology. What are the outstanding advantages of the short blade LFP battery compared to other lithium ion batteries? The technology I want to mention here has an energy density of 192 watt hours a kilogram, comparing with other lithium ion batteries that are on the market, including current LFP types. Energy density is crucial for batteries because higher energy density allows for lighter or smaller batteries that still provide good capacity, thus reducing the weight of electric vehicles and making them more efficient, thereby increasing their range. Lowering the weight of EVs, increasing their range, and increasing the energy density of batteries enables the battery pack to perform well while still being lighter or smaller, thereby continuing to increase the operating range. Traditional LFP batteries do not have high energy density, but newer technologies such as those from Geely have quite impressive energy density. When compared to other battery technologies on the market, this battery has a power of 192 watt hours at kg, lower than the nickel battery. For example, the 2170 battery made by Panasonic found in the Model Y has an energy density of 263 watt hours. In addition, Tesla's Cybercell has an estimated energy density of 256 watt hours. It's clear that nickel based batteries have higher energy density. However, when switching to other LFP battery technologies like BYD's Blade battery with a cell level energy density of about 168 to 175 watt hours a kg, and Cattle's Prismatic LFP battery that's used in a Model 3 rear wheel drive with a cell level energy density of about 160 watt hours a kilogram. Thus, the 192 watt hour a kilogram energy density of Giel's LFP battery is quite impressive compared to the competing products on the market. More importantly, the ultimate energy density at the pack level is more crucial. We do not have the precise figures for Gill's new battery technology regarding how efficiently it is packaged. However, from what we can see, Gill has designed these cells to operate in a monolithic battery format, meaning that they do not require additional packaging with modules. Additionally, this battery has a cylindrical shape, which can be used in a battery pack structure, aiding in efficient packaging. Therefore, we hope that when these battery packs are installed in electric vehicles, they'll have the packaging efficiency compared to the blade battery. The energy density of the blade battery at the pack level is pretty impressive. We expect that Gill's new battery pack will have similar pack level energy density, leading to an increased range compared to other battery technologies. We're really looking forward to seeing Tesla use these batteries. For instance, in the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, we believe this will allow the car to have a range of over 300 miles. On top of that, BYD is also preparing to release the next generation of the Blade battery soon. Although we don't have all the details yet, it seems that this battery technology will have a cell level energy density of around 270 watt hours a kilogram and a pack level energy density of about 190 watt hours a kilogram. However, this battery will be lithium manganese phosphate LMFP and not as long lasting as conventional LFP batteries. With Gill's battery, its lifespan could be longer. In a press release in June, Gill mentioned that they use multiple doping elements in the electrode materials combined with smaller particle size and low internal resistance, which helps extend the battery's lifespan. This means that Gill's enhance the electrodes by adding additives to improve performance. And that's a common practice in the battery industry used to achieve desired characteristics like faster charging or a longer lifespan. What Tesla model is best suited for short blade batteries? Integrating the LFP short blade battery into the Tesla Model Y Juniper for 2025 presents a lot of advantages. Designed for optimal performance, range, and efficiency, Model Y Juniper could benefit greatly from the characteristics of LFP's short blade battery. One of the most compelling aspects is its impressive fast charging capability. Compared to the current Tesla Model Y 2024, which supports up to 250 kilowatt DC fast charging, charging from 10 to 80 percent in under a half hour, the LFP short blade by Gilly offers significantly faster charging times, reducing the charge duration to just 11 minutes. This stark difference highlights the potential of the LFP short blade to enhance the user experience by minimizing charging downtime. In contrast to Tesla's current battery technologies like the 2170 and 4680 cells, the LFP short blade stands out in the LFP segment with its high energy density and innovative compact design. 
while Tesla's nickel-based batteries, including both the high-density 2170s from Panasonic and the newer 4680 cells out of Giga Texas, boast impressive energy densities of around 263 to 244 watt-hours a kilogram, respectively. And that has the LFP short blade staying competitive within the LFP category due to its compact design and robust energy density. This makes the LFP short blade a formidable contender, particularly for applications that require higher energy density and improved thermal management. Moreover, considering the broader implications across Tesla's lineup, the potential adoption of the LFP short blade extends beyond the Model Y Juniper. Tesla could leverage this technology in other models, enhancing their charging efficiency and operational capabilities. For instance, integrating the LFP short blade into models like the Model 3 or Model S could similarly improve fast charging capabilities, thereby increasing appeal to a wider range of consumers looking for both performance and convenience in electric vehicles. Not only that, integrating the LFP short blade battery technology into upcoming Tesla models like the rumored Model 2 could revolutionize the EV landscape further. The potential adoption of this advanced battery in a compact and affordable model like the Model 2 could significantly enhance its market appeal. For the Model 2, known for its anticipated compact size and affordability, the LFP short blade battery could offer several advantages. First, its high energy density and efficient thermal management would allow the Model 2 to achieve a competitive range on a single charge. This would address one of the critical factors influencing consumer adoption of electric vehicles, and that is range anxiety by providing ample driving range without compromising on performance. Moreover, fast charging capabilities of the LFP short blade would be particularly beneficial for urban commuters and city dwellers, which often require quick top-ups during the day. With reduced charging times, potentially similar to those seen in Model Y Juniper, the Model 2 could offer a convenient and practical solution for daily driving needs. From a manufacturing perspective, LFP short blades' innovative design could streamline production processes and reduce costs associated with battery pack assembly. This aligns with Tesla's goals of scaling production efficiently while maintaining high standards of quality and performance across its vehicle lineup. Furthermore, the introduction of the LFP short blade in the Model 2 would align with Tesla's strategy of sustainable transportation. By offering a more affordable EV option with advanced battery technology, Tesla could expand its customer base and accelerate the global transition to electric mobility. In conclusion, the integration of the LFP short blade battery in the upcoming Tesla models like Model 2 holds promise for the reshaping electric vehicle market. It not only enhances driving range, performance, and fast charging capabilities, but also reinforces Tesla's leadership in innovation and sustainability within the automotive industry. This strategic move could set new standards for compact EVs, making them more accessible and appealing to a broader audience of drivers across the globe. The strategic adoption of the LFP short blade battery not only underscores Tesla's commitment to advancing battery technology, but also sets a new benchmark in the EV industry for fast charging capabilities and operational efficiency. This move could further solidify Tesla's position as a leader in sustainable transportation, offering enhanced performance and convenience while contributing to a broader adoption of electric vehicles worldwide. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Press that notification bell icon and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and God bless you. Goodbye.